Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my minimalist makeup collection. I've been on the minimalist track for quite some time now, and I really wanted to downsize my makeup collection. I had a ton of products that I wasn't using, so I decided to discard those products, donate them, pass them on to other people, and really try to focus on the products that I really love using every single day. I think I've done a really good job of downsizing my collection. I'm really pleased with all of the products that I've been using. I've always been the type of person who hung on to things unnecessarily and always in the back of my mind I thought well I'll use it eventually and I never do. So when it comes to makeup, makeup does expire. You don't want to hang on to too many things for too long because they do start to go bad and some of the powders aren't as pigmented, the primers don't work as well, they start to separate. So you really do have to focus on those things. Makeup is a really big investment for me, especially when it comes to this channel. And I do want to focus on things that are current. So it's really important to have good ingredients, good products, pigmented products, and things that I can use and rely on. This is a really new concept for me, so I do hope that I can stay to it we will see in the future what happens but for now I'm really happy with the size of my collection so let's get into the video so here is an overview of what my makeup collection looks like I do have one of everything and a few makeup brushes so starting with my face I use the Maybelline New York master prime by face studio primer this is in the hydrate and smooth formula I do really like this primer it's easy to apply easy to blend this this is the only primer I am currently using. Next is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Caramel. And I really like this foundation. It's ideal for all year round. This holds up really great in the spring and summertime. It matches my complexion really nicely and it's just an easy product to wear. And then I also have the Wet n Wild Concealer in the shade Medium Deep Tan. This is a really nice concealer. I mainly use this under my eyes and it covers up darkness really well. Here is all of my face powder makeup. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade 320 Natural Tan. This has been a staple in my collection. This is for normal to oily skin. I use this just about every day and it holds up really beautifully. It keeps my foundation nice and matte and it keeps me oil free. Next I have the e.l.f. blush in the shade Mellow Mauve. This is a brighter pink shade. It applies a bit lighter than it looks in the pan, but I do really like the way it looks with my skin tone. And the last three powders are from ColourPop. This is the Happy Hour Super Shock Cheek Matte Powder. This is a bronzer. I use this all the time. I really like this bronzer. It works really well with my complexion. It's easy to blend, easy to apply. It's really nice and pigmented, but not too dark. This is a versatile product. I do like to use this on my face as a bronzer, but I also like to use it as eyeshadow. And this is the Super Shock Cheek Pearlize Highlighter in the shade Avalon. So this is a really pretty highlighter if you have a deeper skin tone like me. This goldish shade is perfect. I really love using this as a highlighter, but I also use it as a eyeshadow. So on those days where I'm in a rush, these two products are a staple. This is my crease shade and this is my lid shade. And then I have the ColourPop Element of Surprise palette. This is a really versatile palette. I really like that they have matte shades as well as shimmery shades. I love the different colors in here. You can create so many different looks with this. I did try to narrow down my collection to one palette and this was the one that I wanted to stick to. A lot of these colors are great for daily use, but there are those really nice unique shades that are great for a special event. The next two products are for the brows and the eyes. So the first product is the Ulta Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I love that this has a spoolie attached to it. I've been using this for years. It's one of my favorite brow products. This fills in my eyebrows so that it looks like I didn't fill in my eyebrows. I like that the strokes are nice and thin. The brows still look really natural. The color is really nice. It's a deep brown. I usually go for a deep brown 
versus black because I don't want my eyebrows to look too harsh. This is one of those brow products that I've used consistently and I've tried other brow products but this is that one product that I always come back to. Next is the Maybelline New York Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil. This is a really nice black pigmented eyeliner. This is something you can use on a neutral makeup day and you can also build it up to create a more natural look. And the last product is the Maybelline New York Great Lash Mascara in the shade Black is Black. This is a old staple in my collection. It's a really great mascara. It adds volume. It makes the lashes look really dramatic. For my lips, I have two products. The Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Ink Lip Color in the shade 70 Amazonian. This is a really pretty matte lip color. And next is the Maybelline New York Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Unreal. And this is a really nice glossy lip gloss. So this is what I'm wearing today in the video. I do really like the way they look together as well as individually. So again, this is... So again, this creates three different looks. The Amazonian color is a little bit deeper. The Unreal color is a little bit lighter. And then together, they create sort of a neutral shade. The last thing I'm going to be talking about are my makeup brushes. I did recently donate and give away about half, I think it's even more than half of my collection. I did want to narrow things down and hang on to those brushes that I use on a more consistent basis. So I have brushes from three brands. These are e.l.f. These are from Real Techniques and then these are Wet n Wild. These are all pretty affordable brushes so if you're looking for really good high quality brushes I would highly recommend these three brands. This e.l.f. brush is for foundation I believe. I use this for both foundation and powder products. It does have a really nice narrow shape so I can contour with this as well. This is one of my favorites. This is a blush brush. So I use this for blush but I also use it for under the eyes because it has a really nice round shape to apply powder. This is a really nice contour brush if you're looking for a contour brush that is nice and soft that blends the products really well. This is a great option. And then this is an e.l.f. crease brush. I do like how nice and small this is. It gets into the crease and you can really define your eyeshadow. Here is a Real Techniques contour brush. I use this to contour. I also use it to apply blush and highlighter. Next is the Real Techniques setting brush. I do use this under the eyes as well. It's a nice round shape. This works really great for highlight as well. This is a pointed foundation brush. I don't usually apply foundation with a foundation brush, but this is really nice for a concealer. It's a bit of a larger brush, but I do really like it to pull down the concealer and blend it. And the last Real Techniques brush is the base shadow brush. I do really like this to apply eyeshadow to the lids. So the first Wet n Wild brush here is the foundation brush. I do really like this. It has some movement to it, but not too much. So it spreads the foundation nice and even. This I believe is a contour brush. I do use it to contour. It again has a nice movement to it. So it's easy to blend powder products. I do also use this as a blush brush from time to time. This is a larger crease brush. This is a really nice fluffy crease brush. So it makes it easy to apply product and blend it. This is a larger eyeshadow brush. So if you're the type of person who likes to wear one shade on your eyelids, this is a really good option. This is another concealer brush, which is really nice. And then the last brush is an angle brush. This is really nice to apply brow product to the brows and it's also really nice to apply eyeliner to the lash line. So this is my overall brush collection. I don't really feel like I need a large brush collection as long as the brushes are versatile. You want to have brushes that are good for multiple uses so that when you are doing a look you have a variety of choices. So here is an overall look of my current makeup collection. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.